So Randy is here. My goodness, it's good to see your face. In our Samsung kitchen to make sure everyone has exactly what they love. And Rand, we're so excited to have a real kitchen. Like, where do you This is gorgeous. I, there's things and they work. They work. You've got a working fridge, you have a stove. Amazing. There's a dishwasher. It's basically a chef's paradise. And I just want to explain to the viewers at home, mm -hmm. you know, the only reason we can do this and hang out together is because we're following all of the government safety regulations. So every single person that walks into our studio is rapid tested every day. We want to make a great show for everyone, but safety is always our number one priority. So now that we've got that out of the way, you kind of have had a busy pandemic. Yeah, There's been a lot busy. going on in your life. Like, yes. can you, we talk about the newest family we member, have to please? Talk. Yes, Livy Lois Feltis. Oh, so cute. Seven weeks old today and absolutely perfect. Absolutely perfect. How, yeah. like how the whole having a baby thing during a pandemic, is it nicer because you guys are just in your own little cluster or do you feel a little bit isolated? Uh, that's a good question. I think it's nice in the bubble. Yeah. Um, and then, you know, we were just, Everyone wanted to come take a, a little hold of Livy and that oh. kind of thing. So it was kind of cool to be like, well, we're a little busy today. Yeah. Or you know what, there's another person coming. So you could just take it easy. But I got to say, this time around, because it's 10 years later, I'm really appreciating it. Because the first time I know you, when you have a child, you don't know what's going on. You're like, oh, my Scary. God, I don't know what. It, but this one, yeah. it's just like the second time around, I feel like a pro. Oh, my gosh. That's I'm good. so happy for you. Thank the you whole so family is like so gorgeous. Oh, okay, so um, when we're not talking about babies, we want to talk about food. Like, totally. Let's talk about yeah. snacks. So you have customized your snacks for the road trip for each person, and you have some rules. There's a lot. Listen, there's I like to have rules. fun, Trace. I really do <laughs> love road trips, but there's rules. there's rules. And the number one rule is we actually have to road trip yeah. before we start stopping at places. It just drives me bonkers when we get in the truck and they're like, let's stop here. We need a coffee. It's like, no, we don't. We just got in. It's like going to work and having your first break before you start. You got to right. go on the road and road trip. Yes. So to get around that, we have to pack some snacks. And I have okay. to be a parent at the same time. And so if I'm packing for cash, I'm going to do some healthy things. So this is a Tiffin box. And it's really kind of cool because it separates all the food and there's layers. You kind of stack it up. So yeah. for cash, he's 10. we got to keep things healthy. There's going to be some fruit because that's an easy one, right? Yep. That's going to be gone in no time. The donut peaches are in season. Good times, fantastic. And then I like to go roughage. I like to go like yeah. farmer's market carrot. It's not even peeled. It's whole. Teach them like the farmer way. You lick it, and then there's some flaky salt in there. Ooh. Sprinkle the salt on there. Eat it whole. Get some veggies in there. It's very chefy. Very chefy. Very but chef you got to teach but them how to season yes. at the same time, right? And then at the very bottom, we've got some chips because mm. it's kind of junk food, but they're made from beets, so it's healthy. Have I mentioned right? you're a good daddy? I'm going to try to be. Oh, my gosh, you're so good. Okay, so you have all of the snacks ready, yes. um, and the rule is? The rule is they have to get through all the healthy stuff before we stop at the junk food, before we go to the candy store and buy a sucker bigger than your head, the poutine, <laughs> the tacos, the, you know, the craft beer. Dad has to do the same thing. He's got to get through right. the healthy stuff before we stop anywhere else. I think that's great. So you want to get on the road and you want to keep going. Uh, you're going to pack the coffee. You're going to pack a smoothie. Smoothie. Yeah. So then if you don't want to stop at the coffee store like a kilometer away or a block away from your house, you got to take up all the cup holders. Yes. So I get an iced coffee in there, yes. right? Yes. And then we've been doing smoothies lately and like super healthy. Uh, I like to go a little kefir, a little yogurt, nice. some orange juice, the brown bananas that, yep. you know, there's always some of those kicking around. Yep. And then instead of ice, what I like to do is I use frozen vegetables and fruits because I don't mm. want to water it down with the ice. So I've got some just like chopped spinach here, which you can buy this stuff like at the stores. Yep. You don't have to wilt it yourself. So we got some frozen spinach and then frozen berries, blackberries, raspberries, all that super Did everybody just see there. Randy actually use the fridge? <laughs> And it, it was a moment. And it's cold. And it's cold. <laughs> it's not just a, so not just a stun. <laughs> so then we chuck it into the Vitamix and we give it a crank on. Let's give, give it a little whirr. Almost. It was. Oh, there we go. Nice. Even this works. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> And honestly, Trace, with the Vitamix, you get that vortex going on. It's like 36 seconds, and you're smooth, and you're good to go. And then you just pour that into a tumbler. It's going to stay cold, and you're going to take up those 
cup holders in the truck so nobody can stop for coffee just yet until they're done. I love it and I love those little um, those cup holders. They're so fancy and they keep everything cool. Let's do the uh, the chips. Okay. The so, beet chips. I'm sure Leo has a mandolin at home. Absolutely. Of course. If he doesn't you can practice your night school with yeah. the paper thin. But beets are coming out of the garden right now and you're just going to slice them a nice and thin like that. Always use the guard because these things do bite and they right. hurt. Right. So yeah. I'm not so don't you know. He's a professional. Yeah I'm a folks. professional. It happens. <laughs> so then we've got them paper thin and the trick to these is it's really a fight against moisture so we want to add a little bit of kosher salt to bring all that moisture out of the beets mm -hmm. and then a splash of olive oil. Mm -hmm. and we're just going to let that sit for like 15 minutes okay. and then what's going to happen is that salt is going to take the moisture out of the beets and then when we put them on the baking sheet the olive oil is going to help crisp them up. Okay. So you can see these have been resting for 15 minutes oh, yeah. and look at all that liquid. Yeah, hold like them the right there. Coolness. That is great. So right? you can see they almost look um, like they look like they're really absorbing all of that uh, oil. Yep. And then when they come out, they're going to be nice and And they get a little crispy. bit shiny, right? And then yeah. you put them on some parchment paper like this. Yeah. And then we're going to chuck them into the oven at 300 degrees convection for about 45 minutes. Now, is this actually hot? Because we're going to fast forward <laughs> and take some out. I was going to do it for you, but you know what? I'm going to let the chef do it. Okay. Let's take some out and show yeah. everybody how it's they It's warm. Look. The oven works. Tracy, this is like, oh, I'm coming back. That is good. Look at these gorgeous little things. So you can see that they're just like super crispy. They're gorgeous. And I mean, you just told the kids they're having chips, so they're not even aware of the fact that this is a vegetable. Right. Okay, T, come on in here. <laughs> I would love to get you to try one of the veggie chips. The beet chips. Now, I'm a cake all day type of person. <laughs> <laughs> so, this really is going to be interesting, but yeah. let's give this a try. Mmm, it actually Fishy. does really taste like a chip. I like that it's crunchy. And it's crunchy and it has the salt, so like it, yes. it, it really does taste like a chip. Like, I yes. guess you're, this is the only way I can eat vegetables, is if you come to my house <laughs> and you prepare them. I got it, no It's problem. actually really good. He's I was skeptical. I was skeptical. Listen, can I get you to actually uh, prepare a little Tiffin box situation to take on the road? Because I know sure. you've got one there to put yeah. together. I've got a sandwich here. If you want to give me a nice size. There you go. A little Sambo in there like that. Nice. And then if I could just have some of those chips over there. There, you got it. Because everybody wants some chips. A little messy, That's but okay. I'll just eat these. And then it just kind of gets stacked up. So we go one, two. Randy, this is amazing. Look at this. And then you can use it as a football on your way home. <laughs> a big shout out to well.ca. That's where the Tiffin boxes are from. And of course, the recipes, try them. You can find us recipes online on our website, cityline.tv. Mm. Happy snacking, y'all. Happy snacking.